In this video, we're going to cover how to review projects and apply to projects, also called bidding, using the Switch Pitch Connect platform. So as a startup, after you create an initial account and log in, you'll be directed to the projects page. And here is where we list all projects from large companies that are looking to find an early stage company to partner with. So when we approach large companies about posting projects, we require them to meet three important qualifications. One, that they have a budgeted need. Two, that there is immediacy to the need. And three, and probably most importantly, a willingness to work with a startup or early stage company. So prior to them listing any projects on the Switch Pitch platform, they have to meet those three criteria. So the projects here are listed by companies that are interested in engaging with early stage companies and they put details of the projects along with tags and other relevant information surrounding the projects. Uh, on these tiles and to get more information you can click through and view the entire project details. So we'll go into this project and we'll apply to this project using a fictitious company that has a cloud video editing technology they developed. So on the project details page we have a PowerPoint that the company's created to give you details about the project and so we can actually enlarge that and flip through the project to see all the details. That is a good resource for learning as much about the project as you can. Then we can read the short description that the weather company is looking for a lightweight cloud-based video editor that works at the top of existing streaming technologies. So that's important to them. Then they have a more complete description, some of the challenges that they've faced in finding a solution. And then you also have the ability to ask a question so we can make a question public so that others can see the response. We can make it private so that it, the answer only comes to me and then we can submit that. So once we decide that this project is a good fit for us, we're going to apply to or bid on the project. And in order to submit a bid, your startup profile must be complete. So you'll want to go in and make sure that under my profile, all of the information is complete. And that gives large companies a good sense of you and, and your startup. So after that's complete, then you can go into the bid on projects. And here you'll find usually four or maybe a few more questions that the large company has created that they want you to answer to give them some context of how you'll be able to execute on their need. Don't overthink this process. This is really just to get to the next stage, which is to have the large company feel like you're a potential good fit and take the conversation for a phone call or an in-person meeting so that they can really evaluate you and your startup's abilities. And we have a, a link here where you can see the bidding guidelines. Here, you'll see that there are, we give you an overview of how you would bid, but what we say is the purpose is to provide sufficient information so that the company wants to hear more from you. And I think that's important that you don't uh, spend too much time putting together the details of a bid. They're going to want to know that uh, through a conversation, not just through a submission. The timing of the projects is important. You can see when the timing of their projects will begin, but when companies post projects on our platform, they're looking for, they're excited, they're looking for engagement with startups as soon as possible. So it's important when you see a project that's a good fit not push it off to a submission deadline, but rather to get it submitted right away, which gives you an advantage because your submission will be reviewed as it's received. And the earlier that you can get to a company where they think that they want to find out more details about your startup, the better the chances will be that you'll end up engaging with them in the long run. So once you submit a bid, you'll be notified via email once the big company 
accesses your bid to review it. They can request more information through our platform and ultimately they will, uh, you'll get notified as it moves along the process. You also can get the direct contact information, the email address from the posting person. You'll receive that via email upon your submission. Typically you want to wait at least a week to give them a time to review information and then if you don't hear back or receive any updates you can follow up directly with the posting contact. And then we have a cost associated with it, a fairly nominal cost. If you attend an event where the project was presented then you can bid on the project at no cost as part of your event registration. If you did not attend an event where a project was presented or if it was listed online only then you can subscribe for $20 a month for unlimited submissions or $195 a year for unlimited submissions. And you'll see uh, messaging as to where on the site you can sign up. And you'll also be prompted to a sign up screen if you're not already a subscriber to once you get to the final stage of the bid submission process. So we are going to put in information. And so some of the questions that the big, this big company has come up with describe your startup history, current focus, and any core strength. So we're going to put in the details of our fictitious company. Then we have full WYSIWYG editor. So if we wanted to highlight anything or bold it or put in any kind of um, style, we can do that there and you'll see that. So then the second question is, to what extent has your company dealt with consumer facing or B2B projects? So we're gonna give some insight into that and we have bulleted items in that one. And then they want to know what are our goals for taking this project? So we want to tell them what our goals are and we'll plug this information in here. We wanna improve operational efficiency and drive revenue growth. And then they want to know if we have developed our own technology existing or if we're going to develop it custom for them. And so we have developed a technology, so we're going to put in some of the details about our existing technology. We can attach files, so we're going to attach a quick file here that will give them information. Then you can also put in a URL for a video, which I also want to do about our company, which I can do here. Um, and then we can do additional comments, which we are not going to do that. And we can preview the bid or we can save and return later. If you save it and return later, then it will appear in the, in the bids tab as a, pro, as a uh, draft. But if we preview it, then we will see the details of our submission. We can read through it, make sure it's presenting that how we want it to present, then we can agree to the terms and conditions, uh, read through those, and then uh, looks great, submit. And if we have an account, which I do, then you can, you'll get a submission, you'll get an email confirming that you uh, submitted, and then you can go back into your projects, and you'll see that this is a bid submitted here, and then as the uh, status is updated, this is where you'll see it uh, updated. And so that is the details of submitting a bid to a large company for the projects listed on Switch Pitch Connect. Thank you for watching and let us know if you have any questions.